Hi guys, uh, Ro here. I am coming in today because I want to show you a gift I got in the mail today. I'm so excited about it. And I got it from my mama. It was a surprise. I did not know it was coming. I think she mentioned it and it was just in one ear and out the other. I didn't say anything about it. I just went on about my whatever we were talking about at the time. But um, this arrived and I'm so excited. She sent me the Funky Veg Kit by Plant Theater. Look at those cosmic purple carrots on there. And then here's a golden squash, um, zucchini squash. So I guess by the name you can figure um, figure out what, what this is about. It's about growing some funky looking veggies. Um, so let's take a look at what you get here. Too excited about this. I'm not going to be able to grow all of this right away. Um, it's too late in the season for me to grow tomatoes for sure. So I can't do those. And... Um, I don't have a lot of space available to do uh, this stuff either. So I am planning on doing the, I'm going to give the Cosmic Purple Carrots a try and I'm going to do the Shard. I'm going to try the Shard. I tried Shard earlier this year. I didn't even get any germination, but that could be because those seeds came from a seed swap and God only knows how old they were. Or even if they were shard seeds, maybe they weren't even shard seeds. But um, at least I know these are fresh and I got 20 seeds to work with. The shard seeds that I received before, I got five. <laughs> five. And not a one germinated. So I'm excited for that. I've never had shard before, I don't think. But I, it's a leafy green. I don't see why I wouldn't like it. All right, so here are the expandable peat blocks. They got some kind of like organza around them or something. I don't know what kind of fabric that is. Um, and then there's soil in the center and it even has a little depression uh, probably so you can put your seed in there so it comes with five of those and the plant markers are just plastic white use your you know um, what do you call it Use your Sharpie on them. They'll hold up the whole season. Oh, these are the sewing and growing tips. Uh, these are the peat, or the, what do they call these? Starter growing pots made from peat. These are probably, I don't know, three, four inches. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, there was a bug in there. I killed it though. It was silvery and slinky and kind of long. And now it's dead. Now it's dead. Whatever the heck that was, thank God. I have a knack. If there is a bug around, I will see it. I have a knack for it and I hate bugs. I don't know why. I'll be sitting in my living room watching TV or something and all out of the blue I'll look up at the ceiling and there'll be like a huge spider coming down and I'm like why did I have to see that? Why couldn't he just be somewhere else? Why do I always have to see all the bugs? Can't they? Can, we could all live in harmony as long as I don't have to see you but if I have to see you and you're within reach you're dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Beneficial or not. No. You stay in your lane and I'll stay over here. But you come around here. 
I'm not making any promises. You will most likely be killed. Moving on, sorry. And these are the seeds. Seed packets. So let's look at this little sewing and growing tips. Let's see what they got going on here. From the plant theater. So it says, in this box, you will find everything you need to start growing your funky vegetables. So once you're ready to sow the seeds, submerge the compact disc in the bowl, yada, yada, yada. Squeeze out the excess water. Take off the wrapper. Oh, good thing I read that. I would not have done that. Um, sow the seeds thinly and cover with a fine layer of the remaining compost. I don't know what remaining compost that is. Uh, keep the compost moist, but careful not to overwater. When the seedlings are large enough to handle, carefully thin them out and transplant them as recommended for each variety. All right. So I plan on trying the Cosmic Purple Carrots. Let's see what they have to say about that. This is the Cosmic Purple Carrots brighten up meal times with these stunning purple hybrid carrots, which combine great taste and vigorous growth. So you sow the seeds thinly in the, spot, in the pots provided between April and June. When they're large enough to handle, plant the seedlings into well-cultivated, warm, weed-free soil at a spacing of three inches between plants. Carrots grow best in a sunny position. Keep well watered for best quality roots. So the multicolored rainbow shard. This ornamental shard is guaranteed to brighten your vegetable patch. An exciting mixture offering colored stems in classic red, white, pink, violet, green, gold, orange, and yellow. Simply pick the delicious leaves or stems as required to use in salads, garnishes, or steamed. Roots are not edible. Sow seeds thinly in the pots provided between April and June. When they're large enough to handle, thin out the seedlings and plant them 9 inches apart in sun or semi-shade. Harvest from midsummer to late autumn. All right, so oh, so they got other products. You could do. They have an herb garden. They have an herb garden kit, a cocktail kit, um, a gourmet flower kit, psychedelic salad kit, and a hot chili and sweet pepper kit. Ooh, all of those sound fun to me. Oh, yay! Well, she just turned me into onto something new. That's awesome. Like, I need more things to spend my money on. <laughs> I'm going to do it, though. I'm not going to do it now, but eventually I will probably go ahead and buy, like, the psychedelic salad or the hot chili and sweet pepper kit. I would say the gourmet flower kit, but I'm just not interested in flowers right now I have all the flowers I want um, because I bought all my seeds and I I already have that worked out I just know what I'm doing so and then I have a ton of herbs but I wonder what comes in it they have basil on the picture anywho I'm excited for this this looks like a cool little kit um, so basically you will use the seeds that they provided, use the little compact compost discs and fill those up with water, then pop them into, or uh, put your seed in there, get them to germinate, then pop it into one of these things and then once, you know, they're big enough, go ahead and thin them out, um, and then move them outside and start your funky veggies yeah I like this idea I like that a lot I'm looking forward to this thanks mom thanks for being an enabler <laughs> so yeah the funky veggie kit I think she said she got this off of Facebook 
If she didn't get it on Facebook, at least I think she said she saw it on Facebook. I'm not entirely sure. Um, if I can, though, I will put the link to it in the description box and maybe even put something on the screen. This looks like a fun little project for me. I'm excited. Um, and I've never grown... I'm excited to try Brussels sprouts again. I've tried growing Brussels sprouts, but like I said, I didn't know how long they took, so I didn't have enough time to let them reach maturity. I've never grown zucchini squash. I've never even tasted zucchini squash. I have grown carrots before. Obviously, I've grown tomatoes before, and I haven't grown successfully grown chard yet. So, ooh. Some future fun coming up for me. All right, y'all. If anything fun happens, I will definitely come in and make another post about the Funky Veg Kit. And if nothing fun, if there's nothing to tell, then I won't. So, um, I don't imagine I'll be having to do a video anytime soon because most of this, again, I can't plant until the spring. So, but I'm excited. Thanks again, Mom. I love you. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, Fa er, bye uh, YouTube, not Facebook. I was going to say, bye, Facebook. Not Facebook. Bye, Facebook. Oh, my God, I did it again. <laughs> not by Facebook. I was saying, bye, YouTube. <laughs> See you guys.